Okay, the high voltage controller mod is coming along well. We got cell voltages. If you connect this wire here. So. Okay. And if you turn on the power supply. There we go, we got cell voltages. 3.5, 3.88, delta 3.82 volts, and actually current, which is being read. Let's put that back at one. It's being read by this CS chip right here. Um, yeah, there's it's a little bit complicated, but those extra two um, PSU rails are actually just to turn on these. These are the two supply caps, which would normally be powered through that. Those two diodes there, they're two isolated supplies. They this one puts out five volt in the end. This one does three point three and maybe some other voltage. It's got a thirty five volt cap. I'm not even sure what this this thing actually runs from the high voltage battery, but I don't have high voltage battery right now. Um, this little orange jumper turns on this opto which enables that LDO so they are trying to save as much energy as possible so that's why um, that jumpers there this jumper turns on another LDO that enables that DC DC this turns on another well this is actually turned yeah this one enables the DC DC so that entire chip this enables the LDO that just powers the Batman controller so they're saving power there Basically, these MCUs could turn off all these different peripherals to save as much power as possible. And, uh, yeah, that translates to these things. There. Working. It is balancing cells. I don't have the display on here. On the serial terminal, you can see more. But, I mean, you can see exactly which cells are being balanced and all that. Um, the current... It's a, what did I say? It's about a hundred um, milliamps through these resistors. The voltage is say 3.8 on, on the higher cells. And um, I measured the voltage across the resistor at 1.12 volts. Um, so yeah, you can do the math. The, the other part of the voltage drop is actually across the Batman IC. So it, it gets a little warm, it's dropping like half the power or more than half the power is being dropped across it. Um, but it, it it's, it's only dropping half the, the cells at a time. It, it alternates. You basically have to alternate between the two. Oh no, that's how it works. It, it's actually, yeah. So I, it's actually two volts being dropped because it, when you're actually connecting the um, cells to to be discharged, it's actually going through two sets of resistors, two adjacent ones. So it's going, so they're each dropping 1.1 volts. So that's like 2.4. So the last, like, uh, 1.2 would be the, yeah, I guess that, that's what's being actually dropped in the Batman IC. Not as much as I was really thinking, but yeah, because it, the way the cells are all in series and the way these things work, it you're actually using two of these sets of resistors to discharge one cell, and then you're but you're not you're discharging them in an alternate pattern, like even odd, and then it switches after one second and discharges the other even or odd set through, you know, like the similar resistors, but in a, in the opposite direction actually, the current reverses through these resistors. Um, it's not charging the batteries, but it's just going the opposite direction through the resistors. And yeah, this should, it's looking promising, like it should work. Just have to get the analog signals to basically verify that the contactors um, are working. It's, I think that's worthwhile having. And I already figured out how to drive the contact her the other day so getting pretty close yeah